Could this ordinary plastic pill bottle save your life? Yes, and I'm going to show you how. This pill bottle survival kit will cost you about a dollar depending on what you have around the house. There's so many variations of what you could put in your pill bottle survival kit. These are mine, but I would love to hear what you would add. So tell us in the comments. To start off, we're going to make some containers with some ordinary drinking straws. Cut about three or four one to two inch pieces. Just make sure they're short enough to fit in whatever container you're using. Mine could have probably been a little bit longer. To turn them into containers, we're going to use a pair of needle nose pliers to seal off one end. Then, using a lighter, we'll heat up that one end and melt that plastic together to seal the end. Now you have a little container, you can put just about anything that'll fit inside in it. I'm going to start off with some cotton from a cotton ball. Now you'd be surprised how much cotton you can stuff into this little piece of straw. This can work as a fire starter or help in a first aid situation. So after it's packed, we will do the same procedure with the needle nose pliers on the end and seal the other end with the lighter. Now we have an enclosed waterproof container. I'll make a few of those and then I'm going to make one that has salt in it. Salt can be used for all kinds of things in a survival situation. Again, filling it up and sealing it up. And to keep track of what I have in each of these little containers, I'll just use a sharpie and put the initial of what's inside. Now I'll make one with some pain relief cream, in this case Neosporin, and I'll fill this container up and do the same procedure by sealing the end. And I'll mark that container with an N. Now in order to start a fire, it's going to be good to have matches, so I'll be using these box matches. I'll take four or five matchsticks out, and then we need something to strike them with. So there's a striker on the side of the box which I'll cut off with a pair of scissors and we'll include that in our kit. Of course, if your container is large enough, you could always just put a lighter in there. Fishing line can always come in handy for a number of purposes, so I'm going to reel off a bunch of fishing line. Then to secure it, I'll use a craft stick. I'll square off one end using a scissor and then cut a piece about an inch long. This will be perfect to wrap the fishing line around so it doesn't get tangled up. Once I think I have enough fishing line, I'm going to take two safety pins and I'm going to secure them in the fishing line. And I'll do the same with a fishing hook to keep it from poking into anything. I'll also add a single-edged razor blade. And to protect the blade side, I'm going to use a small piece of duct tape and just fold it over that edge. Razor blade could come in handy in a survival situation. Now it's time for that old CD that we haven't used in years. Who would have ever thought that an old CD could possibly save our lives? But it could. Using a pair of scissors, we're going to cut out a small square of the CD. This will be a great signaling device or, in a worst case scenario, could help start a fire. A needle and thread could also stitch up a bad wound. Not something I'd want to tackle, but it could help you out in a survival situation. I pulled a long piece of thread off, and again, using another one of those wooden sticks, I wrapped it around the wooden stick, placed the needle inside, and continued to wrap. Now that needle is protected from the end of the stick and won't poke into anything. Okay, it's time to start loading everything into our pill bottle. I found a small sample of a pain relieving gel that I'll put inside, along with some vitamin A and D. This is also good for wounds. And wrapping these around the inside of our pill bottle will give a little cushion for all the other items. We'll add our small plastic straw containers, a couple of ibuprofen tablets, the safety razor blade, and our needle and thread combo. A couple of small fishing weights will get dropped in, as well as our matches and striker. Our small signaling CD mirror goes inside as well, and our fishing line, pins, and hook. Every survival kit could use some band-aids, so I'll throw a few of those in there too. And if your container is small enough, you could put a candle inside for some extra light at night. Finally, for one more signaling device, a small whistle can fit inside my kit as well. Okay, it's time to seal it up, but we're missing one ingredient, duct tape. I wrapped the outside of my pill bottle survival kit with about three feet of duct tape. I was able to wrap it over itself and it'll come off easily if I ever need to use it. What would you put in the pill bottle survival kit? I thought of a last minute idea, my shaver. Of course, it wouldn't fit, so I just removed the razor. Now I'll be all clean shaven during that zombie apocalypse. And if you want to get the best shave of your life, nobody does it better than Harry's. Their high quality German engineered blades are crafted for sharpness and precision. They really are amazing. 
their half price of the big name drugstore brands, and of course they're shipped completely free to your door. Their starter kit is just 15 bucks, and that includes the sleek razor, three blades, and either Harry's shave cream or their foaming gel, which is what I like. Plus, as an added bonus, you'll get $5 off your first purchase with my code KIPK5. So support my show and head over to harrys.com and experience a new way to shave. That's harrys.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.